Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download Quillbot application on your PC. Quillbot does not have a mobile application or a desktop application yet. So in order to get Quillbot on your computer, you'll need to go ahead and add an extension available for Microsoft Word, Google Chrome and Google Doc. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add an extension on your Google Chrome web browser. Simply open up your Google Chrome web browser and once you do that, in the search box, search for Quillbot extension for Chrome. Soon after you do that, you'll be taken to this search result. Click on this link that says Quillbot for Chrome, which will take you to the Chrome web store. You'll be able to see the Quillbot for Chrome extension displayed on the screen. Click on the Add to Chrome button right next to the extension and click on Add extension in the pop-up. Once the extension has been added, you can now simply click on the extension icon at the top right and click on the pin icon right next to Quillbot for Chrome in order to pin the extension at the top. Now, whenever you want to use Quillbot, you can simply go ahead and click on this extension and that is how you'll be able to install Quillbot Chrome's extension right on your PC. How to sign up for a Quillbot account. Open up a web browser to get started. Into the URL box, type in www.quillbot.com and press enter on your keyboard. Once you end up in this official site of Quillbot, which looks like this, go and click on the profile image at the top right. This will take you to the login area for Quillbot. If you don't have an account yet and you'd like to sign up, click on this don't have an account link beneath the login button. Now, you can sign up for a free account for Quillbot by using your Google, Facebook or your email address. In my case, I'm going to select the email option. Go ahead and type in a valid email address that you have an access to in the text box. Head over to the next field and create a password which is at least 6 characters long. Type in your name in the last text box. If you'd like to receive news, promotions and product emails, check this box at the bottom. If you don't want it, leave it unchecked and click continue. Now answer a few questions along the way and click next. You can use the Quillbot by adding it on your Google Chrome or you can also add it to Word and finally click continue and you'll be able to sign up or create a new Quillbot account. As you can see that I've already been logged into my account, that means you've successfully signed up. Quillbot is a paraphrasing and summarizing tool that helps millions of students or professionals to cut their writing time using the state-of-the-art AI to rewrite any sentences, paragraphs, or an article. How to log into your Quillbot account? Open up a web browser to get started. In the web address bar, type in www.quillbot.com dot com and press enter on your keyboard. Once you end up in the official site of Quillbot which looks like this, go and click on the profile icon at the top right hand corner which will take you to the login area. You can either log in with your Google account or with your Facebook account. If you've chosen the email option while signing up, you'll need to type in your email followed by your password. In the first text box where it says email, type in your valid email address that you used while registering for Quillbot. On the next field, type in your password associated with the account. Make sure to enter the same password that you created while signing up and then if you don't remember your password during the process, you can also reset your password by clicking on the reset password link. Follow the on-screen prompts in order to reset to a new password. If you've forgotten your password, if you remember your password, simply type it in and click login. Soon after you hit the login button, you'll be able to log into your quillbot.com account. How to add Quillbot to Chrome. Open up your Chrome web browser first to get started. Once you open up your Chrome web browser, in the search box, search for Quillbot extension for Chrome and press enter. On the next page, you can choose from the search results and click on this link that says Quillbot for Chrome. Once you do that, you'll end up in this page and you'll be able to see this Quillbot for Chrome extension displayed on the screen. Click on Add to Chrome right next to the extension and click on Add extension in the pop-up. 
Now the Quillbot extension has been added to your Chrome. In order to find the extension, you can simply click on this extension icon at the top right and you'll be able to see your Quillbot for Chrome extension. To pin the extension, click on this pin icon and you'll be able to find the extension at the top. That is how you can easily add Quillbot to Chrome. How to change your password for Quillbot. Open up a web browser to get started. In the web address bar, type in quillbot.com and press enter on your keyboard. Make sure that you're logged into your account as well. And once you are, mouse over to your profile initial at the top right and click on account details. Soon after you do that, you'll open up the profile tab. Click on the change password option under account. And now, enter the current password for your Quillbot account in the first text box. Once you do that, head over to the next field and enter the new password you'd like to set for your Quillbot account. Confirm the new password in the last text box by retyping it again and finally click on change password. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to see that you've been redirected to the login area. Now you can type in your email address and the new password that you just created for your Quillbot account and Click login. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to log into your Quillbot account with the new password. How to use Quillbot in Microsoft Word? Open up a web browser to get started and go to the Microsoft Office Store. In the web address bar, type in appsource.microsoft.com and press enter on your keyboard. In the search box, search for Quillbot. Click on the Get It Now or the Add button. Now, click on Open in Word button. On the next page now once you open up microsoft word home page go and click on the insert button on the top left in the expanded menu select add-in select quillbot from the office add-ins page and click on add once you add quillbot on your ms word you can now log into your quillbot account by entering your email and password on the right hand side corner after you are done logging in you can now go ahead and select the mode from the paraphraser tab. Write down a sentence or a text at the top of the screen and then click on the paraphrase button in order to generate a new version of your text. That is how you can easily use Quillbot in Microsoft Word. You can now use the paraphrasing tool and improve the clarity of your writing right from Microsoft Word as well. How to see Quillbot history. Open up your web browser to get started. Type in www.quillbot.com and press enter on your keyboard in order to end up in the official web page of Quillbot. Log into your Quillbot account like you normally do and once you are done, you'll be able to see this interface. Quillbot stores your content in order to run the plagiarism report. If you want to know your history from Quillbot, then you can find this history tab on the right hand side corner. But in order to view your history you'll need to upgrade to quillbot premium if you want to upgrade click on this upgrade button and click on upgrade to premium follow through the on-screen prompts and select your plan enter your debit or credit card information or you can also choose paypal in order to pay for your premium subscription and once you are done you'll be able to see all of your paraphrase history on quillbot that is the only way you'll be able to find the history on Quillbot or how to fix Quillbot not working on a web browser. If your Quillbot is not working on a web browser, then here are some fixes you could try out to resolve the issue. The first thing to do is to try refreshing your page. Click the refresh button at the top left -hand corner of your web browser and make sure to refresh your page a couple of times. Soon after you do that, you might be able to fix the issue with a quick refresh. Go ahead and check if your Quillbot is working or not. If it still doesn't work, the next thing to do is to go ahead and contact the Quillbot's support. Click the Contact Us button on the left hand side of this screen and go ahead and enter any problem that you are facing with your Quillbot account. Type in your name, your email address on the next field and in the message text box, type in the message stating the problem in the text box and click send. So now after you send or reach out to the Quillbot support, you'll be able to find help from their end. Another thing you could do if you are going through the Quillbot not working issue is to check if you are using the updated version of a web browser.
Go and click on the three dots at the top right hand corner on our web browser and in the expanded menu click on settings. So now after you open up settings, go and click on the about button on the bottom left hand corner of the screen and check for available update for your web browser. If there is an update you will need to download, it will automatically start downloading the update for you. Once you update to the latest version of your web browser, the next thing to do is to clear your cookies and data from your web browser. From the same page, click on this Privacy Search and Services tab and scroll down under Clear Browsing Data. Click on Choose What to Clear right next to Clear Browsing Data now and make sure that these two boxes where it says Cookies and Other Site Data and Cache Images and Files are checked. Do not check any other boxes over here. Once you are done checking these two boxes, click on Clear now. Remember that doing this will sign you out of most of the sites that you are logged in with from this particular web browser. Make sure that you know your credentials to get back to those sites again. After clicking on clear now, you'll be able to clear your cookies and cache from your web browser. Go back to the Quillbot tab and refresh your Quillbot page one more time and see if that fixes the issue. Those were some of the fixes you could try out whenever Quillbot is not working on a web browser. How to freeze words on Quillbot Open up a web browser to get started. Into the URL box, type in quillbot.com and press enter on your keyboard. Make sure that you are logged into your Quillbot account and once you are, you'll be able to see this interface. Frozen words refers to words or phrases that are preset and cannot be changed in the Quillbot AI writing tool. To freeze words on Quillbot, first, type in the word you would like to look for in the left hand side of the screen. Let me type in some of the words over here. Now, once you're writing the words, you'll be able to see this frozen kind of icon at the right corner. Simply give it a click and enter the words you'd like to freeze with Quillbot. Soon after you type in the word that you'd like to freeze, click on this arrow right next to the word and you have now frozen the particular word. As you can see that the word has now been highlighted on the left hand side. If you click on paraphrase, you'll be able to see that all of the words except the word that you've frozen are changed. After freezing the word in Quillbot, the word that you've chosen to freeze will be same and you won't be able to change it while it will rephrase the rest of the text. How to change language on Quillbot Open up a web browser to get started. In the web address bar, type in www.quillbot.com and press enter on your keyboard. Make sure that you're logged into your Quillbot account and once you are logged in, Mouse over to your profile icon in the top right and click on Account Details. From the tabs, click on Preferences and right where it says Written Language, select the language you'd like to change to while writing from Quillbot. Once you make a selection, you can now go back to the homepage of Quillbot and that is how you can easily change the language on your Quillbot account. Pretty easy, isn't it? How to change email on Quillbot Open up a web browser first to get started. In the URL box, type in www.quillbot.com and press enter on a keyboard and also make sure that you are logged into your Quillbot account. Once you're inside the main home page after logging in, mouse over to your profile icon at the top right and click on account details. Now you'll be able to see your email address that is currently being used on Quillbot. If you want to change your email address to something else, then you need to contact Quillbot Support Center. Simply mouse over to the left hand side and you'll be able to see a pop up. Click on contact us and now type in your name in the first text box. Into the email address, type in your email address that you are currently using for Quillbot and then type in a message stating that you'd like to change your email address. Click on the send button after you are done and now wait for a reply from Quillbot to your email. You can simply open up your email inbox now and you'll receive an email from Quillbot. Click open the email and it will tell you that you'll soon receive a response from Quillbot support staff regarding your problem. Now all you can do is to wait for your another reply from Quillbot so that it can help you with changing your email address. That is the only thing we can do for now. 
Regarding changing your email address on Quillbot, how to log out of your Quillbot account. Open up a web browser to get started. Make sure that you are inside the main homepage of Quillbot. Simply go and type in quillbot.com into the search bar and press enter. And once you are inside your main homepage for Quillbot, if you would like to log out of your account, then you can simply mouse over to your profile icon at the top right and you will be able to see a log out button in the pop-up. Click the log out button and wait for a few seconds and you will be able to log out of your Quillbot account. To log in again, you'll need to click on the profile icon in the top right and enter your login information in the text boxes. That is how you can easily log out of your Quillbot account on a desktop. How to delete your Quillbot account. To get started deleting your Quillbot account, open up a web browser first. In the web address bar, type in quillbot.com and press enter on your keyboard. Make sure that you are logged into your Quillbot account like you normally do. And then, from the main homepage, if you go and click on your profile picture at the top right, you won't be able to see any delete account option. If you've made a subscription for Quillbot, then you'll need to first cancel the subscription in order to delete your account. Once you've cancelled your subscription, go to the left hand side of the screen and click on Contact Us. Now you can go ahead and type in your name in the first text box, head over to the next field and type in your email address that is associated with Quillbot, and then type in your message stating that you'd like to delete your account. Once you are done typing in your message, click send. Now all you need to do is to wait for the response from Quillbot support team regarding your account deletion process. That is how you can easily contact Quillbot support team if you don't want to use the account anymore. That is how you can easily delete your account. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll soon be back with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.